Hey everybody, it's Jay Warren with another On The Clock. We're looking at the Arlington Police Department's Aviation Unit today. This group manages our unmanned aerial system, otherwise known as drones, to help keep the city safe and reduce costs. Here's Trey Elverton with more on the program. Thanks, Jay. Today I'm down at the South Police Station with Lieutenant Brooke Rollins, who leads our aviation unit here for Arlington Police. And we're going to learn today some about uh, the extra help that the police department has on crime scene investigation and accident investigation from an aviation perspective. Eager to learn today about what we've got going on. So tell me a little bit about the aviation unit and what you guys, what you guys do. Our aviation unit has been around for a couple of years. We've actually had uh, permission to fly since 2013. It's a totally collateral duty unit, which means every officer and supervisor assigned to it has a primary job, a patrol officer, a detective but they also are cross-trained in unmanned aircraft, and so they are part of our flight team. What kinds of activities do you deploy the, uh, the UAS on? You know, we, we deploy for a myriad of, of, of items, from uh, searching for suspects that may have uh, eluded capture of an officer, to uh, fire scenes, to critical incidents that might require a SWAT deployment, even crash reconstruction or evidence of a crime scene reconstruction. How do we still protect uh, proper procedural justice type uh, elements when we deploy this type of camera system and people's concerns about privacy. The purpose of the aircraft is not to conduct surveillance and it's actually prohibited by law. Mm -hmm. So the usage of the aircraft are for in-progress events, in-progress crime scenes that are currently being worked by law enforcement. Uh, talk about a couple of the other ways that this is maybe more efficient than some more traditional type aviation units. Well, I can fly 88, air, or 88 flights last year, 87 flights last year, and the cost of those in a manned aircraft would be hundreds of thousands of dollars, whereas we're just in the $10,000 range for the total expense of purchasing the aircraft. This is really a much more economically efficient way to operate an aviation unit. Talk to me a little bit about one of the best results or that, that the deployment of this equipment actually achieved, one that's maybe more memorable than others. We actually had the opportunity to go assist uh, Houston and we brought our aircraft with us and it was kind of a, uh, an unintentional, let's take the aircraft down and see what we might be able to use. Once word got out that we had the aircraft with us, we were able to help multiple different agencies, including mm. the Department of Public Safety. All right, thanks Lieutenant for sharing with me about the tool. I think we're going to go out and fly it around and check it out ourselves. Yes, sir, absolutely, thank you. Thanks for all your work. Yes, sir. Now we're with Sergeant Landfield, who's the aviation team leader, and we're gonna take a look at this unmanned aerial equipment, and right now it looks like just a piece of metal. <laughs> so yes. how's this, tell, show us what this is and how it works. So this is the DJI Mavic Pro, and it's very foldable, so mm -hmm. it's small and compact. So we actually have police officers right now carrying this. After it's unfolded, it's a, it's a quadcopter, four different propellants, and it has a camera on the front that's stabilized. How do we fly it? How do sure, we guide so it? The one on the left is going to control your yaw, so making the aircraft spin on itself. Okay. And then the altitude is up, or okay. descending on the right. And then okay. the one on the right is going to go front or forward, backwards, left, right, based on the position of the aircraft. So how do I, how's the altitude and all that occur? So the one on the left? Yeah. Yeah, if you push it, Instead of uh, rotating, uh, push it away from forward you or down. Fly. You you want to look at what you're seeing, mm -hmm. but you also want to keep the visual the visual connection to your equipment. All of our missions at night will have a visual observer, yeah. and in those circumstances, the visual observer, which is the position I'm performing right now, is one watching, making sure that the airspace is secure and there's no one uh, coming in. Because we will always yield to manned uh, aircraft. We appreciate all the work that you and your colleagues do to keep us safe and, and deploy uh, technology like this in a good, efficient way so that everybody's safer out there and do it in a very affordable way for taxpayers. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you for everything you do. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, Trey, and thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you next time for another On the Clock.